Well, hey kids, welcome back. It's Uncle Tony watching WandaVision. And uh, I guess I'm, uh, I guess my expectations of the show are different from what the show actually is. I, I thought we were walking through kind of a history of television, but they're taking bigger steps than I had anticipated. I can just think of these first three episodes as 50s, 60s, 70s. That's, that's it. They didn't give me any other nuance other than that. So here I am. I'm up to uh, episode four of WandaVision. WandaVision. Trying to make that sound dramatic. Trying to make it sound dramatic because nothing is happening in this show. I'm three episodes in and there's, I mean, it, there's, there's mystery and there's mystique and there's opaque storylines that I can't see through and but I have no idea what's actually going on there's been no excitement you know I'm, I'm watching Falcon and the Winter Soldiers on, on Sunday and uh, uh, that's exciting every episode <laughs> this is just baffling every episode so I guess I gotta get out of my own head I gotta stop thinking about it so rigidly you know, it's just family comedies through the years. If that was the 50s, 60s, 70s, then this episode's probably set in the 80s. And here, here comes family ties, growing pains. <laughs> all, that, all that stuff. But to me, the history of television is a bit more nuanced than the, the way they're going at it. But let me get off that, because the point of the show is the mystery what's happening with Wanda and that's another thing I just don't understand I don't know what's happening with Wanda is this a construct of her powers did she do this to herself after Endgame a place a refuge to hide I mean I'm assuming this takes place after Endgame or at least I mean, okay, I suppose it could happen between Infinity War and Endgame, but I'm assuming it's after Endgame. And that, yeah, I got no idea. <laughs> if that's true, there's no Vision. Vision is, is long gone. Vision didn't come back. Vision doesn't get a, a resurrection or, or anything. He's gone permanently from that MCU continuing universe. But he's not gone from Wanda's mind. So if he's here, I'm thinking it's because of her. It seems like she has control over this place. She's got certainly got some power. She threw that ch chick the hell out of her house <laughs> and out of the <laughs> out of the whole invisible town. But I don't know if that's her. Honestly, is it just a place to keep her because she's having some emotional issues about losing vision? Or is, you know, and, and another thing is, there's a, there's a theater axiom that says you don't show the gun unless you're going to fire the gun. That's if you're doing a stage play, if you show somebody a gun, that gun is going to go off during that play. That's how I feel about her mentioning twins. I don't, I don't think you can show twins, mention twins, talk about her brother and not fire that gun so and if she's able to bring vision back then why not right i don't know i don't know but that's this is where i'm trying to kind of divine the the future of the universe it's mysterious it's neat it's got kitsch and uh, this style for lack of a better term because it, it is all just aping old style, but um, yeah, I guess I, I guess I got to get out of the style of it and get into the story. And this fucking show better tell me what the hell is going on. All right, enough of that. Let's watch Wandavision, episode four. And I'm starting right off the top. Oh, somebody else told me I should be listening to the previouslys. Because somehow the... What is, what is this? But the previously, I guess, uh, she's narrating her own previously and she's changing her voice when she does it. Or, you, or there's a bit of a different intention when she does it. Oh, well, she must be coming back. 
Okay, so that's end game is where we're at. The the other snap. Maria died three years ago. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. Which you... was two years after you blipped. After I what? After I what? After you disappeared. Is that the same girl that just got thrown out of the invisible city? I'm thinking it is. And this is how she came back post endgame. Okay, well, Mike, that answers at least a question. You know, when is this set? It's definitely post reverse blip, whatever the fuck they're calling it. The other snap. They can't call it the snap. Nobody knows about the snap. Nobody nobody knows the snap happened except the people that were there. And the reverse snap. I am Iron Man. What? Sentient weapon? Observation response. Sword? Okay, so that is her. The name is clever. Sword. Because of sword and shield. Space is now full of unexpected threats. Space is full of shit. Full of threats and allies. Literally everything is in space, Morty! There's no easy way to say this, but you're grounded. I'm sorry, what? You're grounded. Terrestrial missions only. <laughs> you're kidding. No longer an astronaut. Who, who, whose protocol is this? Your mother's. <laughs> kind of like that. Her, her dead mother demoted her from beyond the grave. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. That's not funny. It's a little funny. Ah, uh, Joyzy. Get yourself a slice while you're there. You gotta get yourself some pie. I recommend Marlboro. There's a little town called Marlboro, New Jersey. You go to Marlboro Pies or Marlboro Pizza is all. But you order a pie. Shout out for the Jersey Pizza. Same D. Wu. Oh, I know this guy. Monica Rambo. Sword. I see. And um, I'm sorry. What what town are you from? Eastview. Thank you, Sheriff. I'll reach out if we need any further assistance. <laughs> it's making me laugh. I'm from upstate New York, and I used to hang out at the Eastview Mall. <laughs> and she thought this was going to be a boring mission. Also, interesting, we're on the outside. You know, we're looking at this story from her perspective. We haven't even gone into the town at this point. Some sort of energy field. Careful, Rambo. <laughs> yeah. Didn't anybody ever... Teach you not to touch energy fields? Watch it. Nope, nobody ever taught it. Captain Rambo. Captain Rambo! Well, we knew that was going to happen because she was already in the story before. Oh, uh, Kat, uh, what's her name? Uh, I forget her name. There are longer wavelengths superimposed over the noise here. It's a television signal. <laughs> I figured that one out. It's a television signal. She's going to put it in the waveform monitor. She's going to see what bandwidth it's in. She's going to be like, huh, that's VHF. Probably UHF. I need a TV. Yeah. An old one. Like, not flat. I have a not flat TV in my bedroom. It's, it's the cube kind, and it's got the rounded screen that's actually glass. And and it's a big cube, it's like deep and it's heavy. Yeah, I keep my TV as kind of a relic, uh, uh, an antique, a souvenir from another generation. And it's got my Nintendo plugged into it, my N64. Still works. We don't know enough about the nature of the threat to send in another agent when the first is yet to return. Someone must really miss you back at Quantico. <laughs> no, sir. Softball season's over, sir. <laughs> That's a funny joke. It's the only thing he's good at is the softball team. So you're saying the universe created a sitcom starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. <laughs> Get me a transport back to headquarters now. <laughs> Are we recording this? Never stop. I need immediate analysis. Now, people. Let's go. Okay. He's a charmer. Great work. Things are coming into coming into clarity again a little bit. No, nah, she's not gonna get. He's not getting the coffee ah, with you. That's cool. I got a coffee. 
So you watch the first episode. If you keep watching, you'll see the girl that disappeared. You should also take note of these names. Like a retro version of a sword throne? Bingo. But how did it change and why? Go with the production design? Or render it useless? Change with the production design? I was wondering why it looked modern when she sent it in, and then it looked like an older one when it crashed. I thought maybe something fell off of it. But yeah, it's gone retro just because those are the rules. That would explain the, the other girl's haircut, too, who snuck in. Now she's got the right hair and clothes for the episode. Monica is talking to Wanda. She's got a speaking part now. What is she saying? Those pants are peachy keen. She likes Wanda's pants. <laughs> Wanda, Wanda, can you read me? Over. Who's doing this to you, Wanda? Just gonna throw out a note, say underground pipes are never that clean. There's always something in them. But why are there bees? Nope, can't have your harness. 1950s, 1960s, and now the 70s. Okay, I guess I was right. Switching time periods can't be purely for my enjoyment, can it? I was overthinking it, and then it's just 50s, 60s, 70s. There's nothing here. One second Monica is standing right there, and the next she isn't. Someone is censoring the broadcast. But where's Rambo? I also wonder if her name is Rambo, like Rambo John Rambo, or if it's Rambo like the poet Rambo. R-I-M-B-A-U-D. Now you are trespassing here. And I want you to Bye bye. Oh, hello. And goodbye. <laughs> I mean, you're self aware. So this must be your world. It must be your doing, right? Wanda, Wanda, I... And Vision's definitely dead. And she's got twins, but what are they? Are they real? Are they... I'm glad I hung out through the first three episodes to get to this point. So she left, honey. She had to rush home. But I don't know... Oh, oh. Shit, she's seen dead vision. What is it? What's wrong? It is a, a great comic book question. But how powerful is Wanda? It's all Wanda. Yeah, it's all Wanda. And bringing the aspect ratio back in. I like that. So the next episode will be in the 80s. I get to see a family ties next time. <laughs> awesome. I'm very glad I didn't give up after first few episodes and be like, I don't know what's going on, fuck this. This is this is this turned into something pretty good uh, right at this episode. It, 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 it was stitching some of these pieces together and that image of dead vision is pretty powerful. So, uh, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Me likey. More Wanda. I should have started these sooner because uh, they're now running into the Falcon and Winter Soldier, and I'm doing them both at the same time. So I haven't made it through this, and I'm in the middle of that. So I'm excited. This is this is neat shit here. Uh, no uh, post credit scene from what everybody tells me. And uh, the likelihood that uh, Marvel comes out and uh, speaks out against uh, Georgia's restrictive voting law, 0% chance, because they shoot in Georgia, and uh, they need them tax breaks. So don't expect your, your, your liberal friends uh, in the Marvel Universe to have a, a loud opinion on the, the, the restrictive voting laws of Georgia. Uh, 
mainly for economic sake. And honestly, can't blame them. Let the federal government deal with that. You guys just keep making movies. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Let this go to the courts. Let that play out. Don't you guys get involved in politics. That would, that's my advice for Marvel. Stay out of politics. Of course, with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they're dipping a toe into some politics there, aren't they? So if you're watching this and you've made it this far into the video, you should like, you should subscribe, you should throw me some comments down the doobly-doo, and you should catch me on Sundays when I do the live Falcon and the Winter Soldier reactions. And uh, yeah, uh, awesome, man. Thank you for joining me. And uh, till next time, this is Uncle Tony saying, get off my lawn, you goddamn kids. You're always on my lawn. Get off my lawn.